Here we go. For the third time this morning. Um, I have done a couple more videos, but I'm not going to post them because they're shit. Um, the times now are 20 to 10 on Saturday the 22nd of May. Um, Sam Michael's about to start an electronic record of interview then with a bad person. <laughs> um, sometimes a police brain kicks in, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so what I've done today is I've built the aft bridge and the uh, 10 mile range finder and painted it. So it's this one here. Um, it's pretty good. Um, there's a few other things I've got to put on it. I've just got to put a couple of guns on, but I'm going to do all the guns pretty much at the same time. So now I'm going to just put together the searchlight deck or the Suchweinefer deck. <laughs> Such wine worth a deck. I can't speak German. That's quite apparent. Um, so I need to get a few bits and pieces of my D sprue. I won't say the joke I said in the first couple of um, videos because it's really quite stupid. So I need this one, which is D27. Um, then I'll go off to Mass Hobbies tomorrow and get some um, stuff. Need D40, which is this one. So I'll um, do a little bit of a reveal when I get the stuff tomorrow. Uh, D40, D39. It's just going to be tools and stuff. Nothing, well, not tools even. Um, so, wearing my glasses, got the lights on, yet I can't see very well. So it's D39, which I need. So I use my phone. <laughs> use my phone and zoom in the, the camera. You can't even see it, but zoom in the camera. You might be able to see it. So I can see what I'm doing. Um, yep. It's joys of getting old, I suppose. Now I need the F sprue. Okay. Where are we going to go? G, F, fill the F sprue, pull these bits back. Um, I need F to the two F4s, F to the four, F4 there, oh, that's F2. Oh, it must be, oh, okay, I see there's two F sprues. I need that one, F4. I've just got a gun. And a crane on it. There we go. F4. So everyone's in a good mood today, I am. I've um, had a really good night's sleep last night, which doesn't happen very often. I'll put the G's, G's on a bit later. So. This bit goes up like that. Uh, so that might goes there. And these little jobbies would probably fit in there, like that. And like, like that. I don't know actually fits in. There we go. And then this little bit fits in there, like that. So let's glue these together. I use the Tamiya, the normal cement, the white lid. So a sip of my black coffee in my giraffe cup. See? Love my giraffes, as we all know. Uh, so the reason I love giraffe so much, the year's 2007, 
the place is Singapore Zoo. If you've never been to Singapore Zoo, and once the world opens up again and you're in Singapore, please do yourself a favour and go to the zoo. It's an amazing spot. Anyway, 2007, Singapore Zoo, up there on HMAS Adelaide. I um, was feeling a bit down and I sat there and in front of the giraffe. I've, never, I've always liked giraffes, but never really sat there and looked at them for an extended period of time. So I sat there and just looked at this giraffe and it just kept on coming over and looking at me and then going away and, and coming back. And I was lighting up a cigarette and the giraffe sort of looked at me and walked away. The cigarette, because I don't smoke anymore, just so you know, um, put the cigarette out and the uh, giraffe came back. It just stayed there and we just looked at each other. You know, I sat there for a good hour and a half, two hours, just looking at this, this beautiful giraffe. And um, every time I lit up a cigarette, it went away and it'd come back when I put the cigarette out. So anyway, at that time, the giraffes had a um, cyclone mesh fence. So I um, don't know what you'd call it in England or Canada or America or whatever. But it's just a, a mesh fence. And it wasn't all that high, so the giraffe could put its head over. So I went up to the, the fence to say goodbye to this, this beautiful animal. And um, it came close to where I was. And I actually put my fingers through the, the mesh and gave it a bit of a pat on the leg. And it leant over and sort of put its neck over the fence and lick my face. So I was giving a bit of a kiss and just to make me feel uh, like I was loved. The reason I was feeling a bit down was I knew pretty much my marriage was gonna be over when I came back to Perth. But yeah, ever since that day, I've just had this affinity and an absolute passion for giraffes. They're such a beautiful animal. Um, they're one of a kind and I've actually fed them at the uh, Werribee Plain Zoo in Melbourne. So if you're ever in Melbourne, um, if the world opens up again, do yourself a favour and go out to the Werribee Plain Zoo. It's such an amazing zoo and there's, I mean, you get the free um, safari drive around all the um, African animals. There's, what else there? There's no lions or tigers in this, this one area. There's uh, giraffes, there's rhinos, um, what else was there? Giraffes, rhinos, all the, all the different types of deer, the antelope, the springbok, um, the giraffes. But you actually can pay $60 and you get to spend two hours in the giraffe section where you get to feed the giraffes and you feed them leaves and then carrots. And they're just such a, such a calming, peaceful, gentle animal. They're just, they're gorgeous. Um, so yeah, so obviously that's why I love giraffes and everyone knows I love giraffes. And it sort of um, doesn't help me find a, a woman. <laughs> But, I don't think that really matters. What do you reckon, Peter? Do you reckon we need women in our lives? I don't think so, mate. As long as we're happy, we've got our models. Um, I've got my family, that's all that matters to me. I mean, I'm not an ugly bloke, but I'm not the uh, most attractive. Yeah, we don't need, don't need chicks in our lives, mate. So, oh God, I don't even know if I'm gonna put this video up. This is just as bad as the other ones. Um, but yeah, so that's that little bit done. I will finish this off, actually, get the juice brew. F, 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 D. F, F, D, what's this one? 
next one is the okay, find it. It's on this side. Oh, that's the sea sprue. Uh, what is one? That's an E sprue. Might be this one. It's the B sprue. What's the the last one? I'll look at. It's a K sprue. Pretty sure these are all H's. H H H. -H. My goodness. Yeah. There you go, second last one I'll look at. So they go on top of the F's. So they go G13. Okay, so I'll finish this, I'll upload this video, um, I will then do a bit of cleaning because it's my long weekend, I'm going to do some cleaning today, i um, got my dad coming over for a beer and to look at the models a bit later on, um, he hasn't been over here for ages, so he hasn't seen all my models actually, he's only seen them on um, like photos on the messages, so it'd be nice for him to see them. Um, he might even offer to buy me a new one. <laughs> I doubt it, but yes. Have a look at um, model kit stuff. He's doing a. Um, a Bismarck build, oh sorry, an 80th anniversary of the sinking of the Bismarck and the hood. And he told a couple of stories last night on his channel about his grandfather and his two great uncles. Wow, seriously such an emotional uh, build for him and I'm pretty sure I heard him, um, his voice break a little bit talking about, with pride, talking about his grandfather and his um, great uncles. And I'm really looking forward to this build. It's going to be an emotional journey for pretty much all involved, like definitely for, for him and definitely for people that have had stories from their grandparents about World War II or um, other people that have been into conflict. It's going to be a, an emotional build for me watching it due to um, my history with the Navy and my love of all things uh, Navy. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that one. It's gonna be awesome. Ah, let me put these on. Do these have to be a different color? No, so I can spray on those the same color. Um, yeah, so once this is done, like I said, I'll upload this video. If you like it, please subscribe. If you haven't subscribed already, um, please like, comment, um, whatever else you want to do to it. I don't care if they're um, not nice comments. Um, as long as they're constructive, if you're going to criticise. Um, no one likes a, a smart aleck or a smart ass. Um, so please keep all criticisms constructive. And that's to everyone on, on YouTube. Don't give them a hard time because you don't agree with what they're doing or how they're speaking or things like that. Just give them constructive criticism or if you've got nothing nice to say, don't say anything. You know, people aren't doing this to be criticized. They're doing it for entertainment for others or, you know, I'm doing this for future generations of my family. You know, they can sit and watch what I've done, you know, when, when, when I'm gone or, you know, I'm 
I'm doing it to entertain and hopefully spread the message about men's health and men's mental health at the same time as doing this. Like these models are, I, I think I said it before, I've, I've taken up to maintain or to at least attempt to keep my depression and post-traumatic stress at, at bay, you know. And it's doing it. Like, yeah, I have up and down days. I've had a couple of really bad days in the last few weeks, especially after talking about the mental health I've, I've suffered. Um, but that is only due to my um, reliving a lot of what I what I'm trying to um, control. But anyway. So over the last two days, or the last couple of days, I've done the um, the Air Defence Command Post, which I think's turned out really quite well. Um, especially this little bit at the back here, it just took me a little bit of time to do. So that little bit going up to the ladder. I've lost a couple of bits, because they flew off when I was cutting them off the sprue. I'll probably find them in about six months. Um, so there's bits that go there and there. So there's a bit there. Um, I've put on the, what, I, what I'm tipping are the binoculars, some sort of binocular or whatever. So I've done that one. Oops, I've done this one, which is, I've just done today, this morning, which is the aft bridge or the Hinterbrücke, Hinterbrücke, I don't know. <laughs> and it also has the uh, 10 mile range finder. I think the M stands for mile or the 10 mile. No, I'm not going to bother trying to say that one. Um, so yeah, that's that one, which I've just painted today as well. I really like this color, this um, neutral gray. So I'll put that one in my little box as well. And then I'll put this one up because I'm going to paint this one next. So, there we go. What else goes on this, actually? It doesn't look like anything else goes on this, apart from a couple of guns. Um, I can't even see it on this. Yeah. Well, something's gonna have to go on it, surely. Yeah, so anyway, um, like I keep saying, please like, copy, copy, like and comment. Um, I will get this done. I'll upload this video now. I will do this one. It's not too bad. So, um, yeah, hope everyone enjoys their weekend. Um, if you're Australian, have a great one. Um, yeah, so, you.